Today on Robert's Full English Breakfast Show, I have a young lady from Scotland who, against some adversity, has followed her dream to become a published author. Yvonne Mars, thank you very much indeed for sparing some of your very precious time to talk about your books. So, where did it all start? Thank you, Robert. Well, it started when I graduated from my Business Studies College course and I took a job that I absolutely loathed. I decided that then I was fed up being a wee isolated bookworm in Scotland and I was going to take the opportunity to move to London to realise my dream of becoming a published author, as there are so many more opportunities down here. So, tell us about your books. Well, I started out with the intention of writing one book but it developed into a trilogy. It's the When the Sax Man Plays series, and we follow my main character, Jason Patelli, who is a very talented saxophonist, who actually started his life down in London on a scholarship at Trinity College of Music just around the corner from here. I'm in the middle of writing the fourth and the fifth, so five books in total, but I'll finish the series. And so what happens, it's the ups and downs of um, your character uh, and what's sort of going to be happening in the um, well we don't tell us too much because um, we want to read your books. In my next book I'm hoping to launch it to coincide with the Olympic Games this year and this will be a series of flashbacks over my character's life including one where he returns to Greenwich to hold a charity concert just before the Olympic Games officially start and I'll let you into a little secret here. He also comes and stays at number 16. And number he is a guest well, yeah. on your show. Yes, Robert, he well, is. But isn't that sort of art sort of following life or life following? I'm not quite sure which. So um, he actually is sort of in Greenwich here. Well, I'm rather looking forward to it. Uh, uh, what commission do I get from this? <laughs> oh, that has all been worked out. It's all been worked out. Well, that's marvellous sort of thing. Um, just over your shoulder, you've got a saxophone there. You also play music and, and do photography as well. How do you manage to juggle all these about? <laughs> it certainly is a juggle. I'm a terrible wife. Sometimes I'll disappear for hours and hours at a time. My husband never sees me, but this is how I get things done. Well, I think that's probably the sort of um, the trials of being a writer, sort of. But did you ever get writer's block? No, not at all. No. As I say, the yeah, blank page to me is an open invitation. Now, how do you distribute your books? Because you, you publish them yourself, do you? Or? Yes, my latest book, When the Saxman Plays Part 3, Making It, yes, I am the publisher and the distributor for this book. And I'm hoping and this will carry on for the fourth and the fifth books. Where, where can we get your books? They are available via Amazon, or you can go into your local, local Waterstones, because I have an agreement with Waterstones that they will stock my book. I wish you every success in the future. Have you got any other plans afoot for your writings, or, or well, they are they kept secret at the moment? Well, I'm hoping to do a bit of a crime sci-fi next. Really? That's my intention, yes. Because I know you're a bit of a sort of... Uh, a crime writer um, fan, aren't you? I am, yes, but it will be a completely different challenge for me. We always give our guests something on this show, so I'm thrilled just to give you a very small token from Robert's Full English Breakfast Show. Ooh, lovely. Thank Mars. you, Robert. Thank you very much indeed. Excellent. You've been terrific. Thank you.